Hello there, thanks for tuning in. Officer Oil here. When I'm not fighting crime, I'm fighting friction. I'm your host, Scott McAdoo, coming in from beautiful Annapolis, Maryland. And I am going to be changing the transmission oil, the gear oil on my brand new 2020 KTM 300 XCW TPI two stroke. This was a birthday present from my beautiful wife. She surprised me. Um, absolutely amazing. I love it. Got uh, a little over 100 miles on it and just over six hours. And they said break in to take it easy, less than 70% for the first three. I wanted to be a little extra cautious. And now I'm at six hours and for the, at five hours to change the gear oil. So um, again, I'm a little over here, but what we want to do is we want to get it all warmed up. Get the bike warmed up. We're going to be changing it with the Amsoil Synthetic 10W50 Dirt Bike Oil. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but first I want to get this warmed up so we can get it all drained out. So, pull the choke out, fire it up. Alright, so we're back. Went out, did a few miles, just warmed up the transmission, got all the fluids nice and warm there so it'd be easier to drain out. Book does say to get it up to operating temperature. Um, so revved it up, rode it, should be nice and hot, everything's nice and warm. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull the plug. Drain plug is right down here. You can see right there is the drain plug. And then what I did on the other side is I did just crack the, uh, the oil fill cap just so we can get a little better flow here. So let's go ahead and get this, get this undone and uh, get it all drained out. All right, so I got my 13 millimeter socket here. Cracked it. And let's get this all, get this all drained out. Let's let this drain all out here thoroughly. And um, then we'll install a uh, install the drain plug, new gasket, and uh, we'll fill her up. Get this all cleaned up. Get this drain plug cleaned up here. You see that? All right. So got that all cleaned up. Got my new gasket. Probably not necessary. I I like to put just a little. Just a little bit of oil on the gasket, on the uh, crush washer rather. Um, just, just to lube things up. All right, so we got that down to just a slow drip. Let's go ahead and get this reinstalled. Okay, get that tightened up. And then grab my torque wrench, and we want to torque it down to 20 newton meters. So now I'm going to pull this, I'm going to spray some more contact or some parts cleaner just to get all that oil that seeped out. It wasn't too bad. It, you know, I got a good lean with the kickstand. But we'll get that cleaned up and then uh, head over to the other side. We'll spin it around here, add our oil. All right, so I spun the bike around here over to the fill port. And I cracked it earlier, as I said, just to get a little flow, let gravity do its work there. <clears throat> get a little flow, get all the oil out of the drain plug on the other side. Um, but when I did, you can see all that dirt and everything around around there so we got to be very careful that we do not get that down into the transmission so what i'm going to do here is get this all get this all cleaned up use again my uh my parts cleaner i'll clean off that that drain or that uh filler cap before we install our outstanding synthetic dirt bike 1050. so amsoil loves to test they test and test and test everything um, it's what I love about them, and they spend most of their money on research and development rather than advertising like so many others. But what they did is they put together and created their own extreme simulated start test, a whole shot test, to illustrate the Amsoil advantage 
over your conventional OEM fluids. So they took our um, our synthetic dirt bike oil. It was done with the 1040 here, and they put it in a Honda CRF 450, and they conducted uh, 32 uh, extreme starts. And it, uh, as you can see, the clutch plates here, they look great. Um, very little wear, very little discoloration, still a lot of life left in them. However, they also tested a leading OEM conventional fluid, conventional oil, and after just 16 starts, um, well, big difference in the clutch plates. So a lot of discoloration, a lot of wear, and they were getting in that inconsistent clutch feel and slippage uh, just that early. And so that's one thing very, very important with the Amsoil Advantage that you're going to get. And, and I love it because when I ride, I do a lot of tight technical, um, off-road riding, dodging trees, over roots, logs, rocks, anything out there you come across. And my finger is almost always on the clutch. And I want that constant, constant clutch feel and be in that friction zone. Um, and here I'm being protected because, let's face it, downtime's killer and I want to be out riding. I don't want to be working on it. And you really are getting uh, getting a finance or an outstanding product here so over here is the product catalog uh, they highlight some of the other dirt bike oils so the 1040 the 1050 that i have and this the 1050 it'll work in your transmission and it'll work in the engine oil as well for the engine as well um, i ran this in my uh, 04 uh, ktm 400 exc and it was great they, they recommended a change every 15 hours and it looked just like brand new coming out um, every time I changed it. So along with the 1060, and then they do have a dedicated dirt bike transmission uh, fluid as well. So again, as I mentioned, the dirt bike uh, 1050 is a JSO MA spec. All right, up here, some little bit, another picture here about the test. So that was the Amsoil's best recommendation. Um, and they do have a 1550 JSO MA2 right there that meets the specs right in my owner's manual right in the new ktm's owner's manual uh, but they did say for my bike the best thing to do would be stick with that uh with that dedicated dirt bike oil to give you that constant clutch feel and constant clutch performance another option would be the v twin 2050 uh, which does meet the jso ma2 spec as well um, and if you read the the data bulletin on officeroil.com you will see that it is also recommended for a 1550 application. Um, so you do have choices. So even with that, so for those of you who are a little unsure um, about that and you do want to stick with the OEM specs, you can use that. But again, I took this to the top. I went all the way up to the, one of the top technical service advisors with the department and um, with Amsoil as well as the uh, department head. And they recommended that 1050 um, and the MA to give you that that better performance and this way I felt a little better um, knowing that I'm protected and warranty secure and I'm good to go I'm not gonna have any issues and Amsoil is gonna back me up so just a just a great test that they uh, that they highlight here and uh, and really just shows that Amsoil advantage all right so I've got the uh, the fill port all cleaned up there's all that dirt and sand and everything else in there also cleaned up my my filler cap. So let's go ahead and add in our oil. So this oil here, <clears throat> again, synthetic dirt bike 1050. I know probably what you're thinking. In the book, and I had questions about this too, but in the book, it recommends a 15W50 with a JSO MA2. And as you can see, this here is a JSO MA and it's the 1050. So one, the viscosity, don't be worried about that. That 10, that W stands for winter. Think of it as winter. And all it's gonna do is give you better cold flow performance, better fuel economy. A 10 will flow faster cold than a 15. So the 50 weight, that's fine. <clears throat> um, and the JSO MA, I had so many questions. I worked with Amsoil's top technical uh, product advisors, tech services department, program managers, and they um, um, made me feel very confident that the best recommendation for this bike is the JSO MA in this dirt bike oil. Um, the MA is designed, uh, it's going to give us that constant clutch feel. Um, it's going to be much better in the woods and off-road riding versus the MA2, 
which is a little different in coefficient of friction, and that is going to uh, be a little different out on the road. If you're on the road, we would go with the MA2, but most riders, they say, can't even feel the difference. Um, but this is what they recommend. And um, so again, it's gonna give us uh, that constant clutch feel. It's gonna reduce all the heat, um, oxidation, the rust, um, just everything that you want in a dirt bike oil. So we're gonna get that in there. And it says here, the book wants us to put in uh, 0.85 quarts. So we're gonna go ahead and put in 0.85 quarts and then we can check it on the other side. So get that in. All right, I think that's gonna be right about on. But again, perfect for the woods. Gonna help drop our temps down. Gonna shift smoother. Wet clutch compatible, no friction modifiers, very important. A lot of, a lot of other motorcycle oils out there um, are just um, relabeled auto oils that have, the, uh, have all the friction modifiers in it. So we don't wanna be slipping the clutch on this. Um, but so they're saying here that <clears throat> uh, the book says to run it for, after the first five hours, um, you're good for 40 hours. So I, I, I talked to the dealer about it and he thought that was even too long. And again, this is the OEM recommendation, uh, but 40 hours, he says he changes it at 10. So it'd be a really good test for Amsoil to see how we, uh, how we hold up. And again, I've talked to tech services about that and they said should be completely fine at 40 hours unless if we're racing, really, really running hard which I don't do, um, that we'd want to change a little more often. But um, yeah, we got that in. Um, let me just get a little, get a little oil here on our, uh, on our filler cap on the gasket there. Get that in there all greased up, all lubed up. Go ahead and stick it on. All right, so I'm going to be uh, checking the oil here, make sure the level looks good, and uh, we're almost done. Just going to check the oil here. So right behind this spring, the rear brake spring, there is an 8 millimeter level check screw. So we want to take that out, straighten the bike up, and should just be a small little trickle that comes out of that. So we'll let that even out. Bike's level now. Getting a little little stream there. So maybe put a little too much. So it said 0.85 quarts. That's what we have in. Um, but it is coming out. Gonna let that keep going here until it uh, until it settles down. And then we'll re uh, put our check screw back in and almost done. All right, starting to rain on me here. Get this back in. Not that there, and then we want to torque it down to 10 newton meters. There we go. 10 newton meters. All right, so that's a wrap. Amsoil Synthetic Dirt Bike 10W50. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. But we'll go beat it up, and we'll see how it does. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.